Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to be an architect. I always thought that my dream of being an architect would never be realized, since dropping out would make it a lot more difficult. Our job at ACE Leadership High School and our Professional Development Center is to provide the best education for the students who need it the most. 80% of kids who drop out of high school drop out because school's irrelevant. It doesn't have any meaning in their life. And so if you can create a school that has meaning and purpose to a student, you have a better chance of, of giving them a reason to come to school every day. Here at ACE we use project-based learning. And basically what that is, is learning through experience and actually hands-on, rather than just reading about it in a textbook. So instead of looking on Wikipedia or going online and typing up earthquake-resistant buildings, we actually get to build scale models of them and test them out ourselves. Or instead of learning about a trust or watching some DIY thing on YouTube, we actually get to build one for ourselves and explain, um, not only in pictures, but actually in our own project, what we've done and why we built it that way. Typically schools are created to serve the institution of school. So kids come to school, they go to classes, they earn a diploma after receiving a certain amount of credits, then maybe they'll go to college or maybe they'll do something else or maybe they won't do anything. The innovation at ACE Leadership is that we ask kids and communities, what do you need from school? What, what kind of support do you need to be successful? What do you want to learn? And then we ask employers in higher education, what do kids need to be able to do when they, when they leave high school? And then what we do is we connect kids who otherwise would have had no opportunity to go to college or be employed and prosperous with employers who are looking for a pipeline of highly qualified workers. Our students tend to be the type of learner that it doesn't really enjoy sitting at a desk listening to a lecture and taking down notes the way kind of more traditional curriculums are often taught. And so they, they tend to not have experienced a lot of success learning until they get to ACE. And so project-based learning allows them to really access with their strengths, with their assets, with the things that they are confident in, and then safely kind of push into the things that they need to work on or the things that they're less confident in. And it gives them a platform to take really safe academic risks and, um, and have lots of opportunities to keep practicing and not be penalized for the practice. Neighborhood shouldn't be about fear and about like violence like how it is like nowadays. It should be more about being together and being a family like how our school is. When you're learning math and when you're learning science, when you're learning social studies, like all of that stuff over the last like hundred years in education have like stripped that of any context and tried to get to the essence of math and like manipulating numbers or the essence of science and, and isolating variables and testing them. And I think that the project-based learning here at ACE is getting us back to putting that stuff in context and putting it into the context of architecture, construction, and engineering. How is it that math will apply to all of the stuff that we see around us? How is it that science applies to all the stuff that we see around us? We're uh, building a kiosk for the Silvery Minnow Preserve in Albuquerque. Um, and the design challenge that we're solving for is um, looking at how nature communicates. Biomimicry is the study of organisms in nature, plants and animals, and how they solve certain functional problems in the context in which they live. It helps us understand those concepts and how to apply them to human design problems. All right, so the whole skeleton is gonna be built by two by fours, and the whole top view, the one that's gonna show the feathers and all that. The silvery minnow are going extinct, and the reason why is because a lot of foreign fish were brought to here a long time ago. 
people have asked before, you know, so what if that one fish goes extinct? Well, so what if that one rhino species goes extinct or that polar bear goes extinct? It's a thing that we've inherited from our ancestors and I'd like to see it be able to be passed down to the you know, subsequent generations. Our team will be designing and building an information cast to inform the general public about the Rio Grande Silvery Minnow Preserve located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. When kids don't get something right, they gotta make it right. It's not just about taking a low grade on something. It either works, it's great, or you need to do it again. Like, that's basically our grading system here. So when we start thinking about revision, if, if, a, kid, if a kid doesn't get it the first time, they've got multiple bites at the apple, like we like to say here. Kids and people like don't learn things just by experiencing them once. Um, they need multiple, multiple attempts at learning Project-based learning gives us, as teachers, a chance to get back to the heart of our profession, teaching the students more than the stuff. At Ace Leadership High School, the students have become the center of the learning, and the stuff has become the way we support them. Project-based learning at Ace High School is beyond wall-to-wall. -wall. It's project-based learning without walls. The whole thing for me is that the kids that are here want to be here because they're experiencing something different and they want to be here because they're experiencing success. ACE Leadership is trying to build that kind of educational context where students can try lots of interesting things in authentic projects in the community. Students don't want to have to wait anymore to get involved. And we need to believe that young people can change our world.